Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's story is based on Toy Story 4, Officer McDimples on duty. This was published by Autumn Publishing. When a taco toy needs help to find its true place in the world, Officer Giggle McDimples takes on the case. Woody, Bo Peep and their friends move from town to town with the carnival, helping new kids and toys along the way. As the carnival set up in a new place, the toys made their way to a nearby playground for some fun. A boy raced Duke Kaboom down the slide while Officer Giggle McDimples, Woody, Bo and her sheep took a ride on the merry-go-round. Ducky and Bunny sat in the arms of a little girl swinging high into the air. They were having so much fun they didn't notice the sad taco toy on the swing beside them. But Bo and Giggle did. When the merry-go-round slowed, Bo whispered into Giggle's ear, Once the area is clear, we investigate the taco. Affirmative, said Giggle. As soon as the kids left the playground, Taco groaned. That was awful. You mean awesome, said Bunny, right? Awful, repeated Taco. Duke, Ducky and Bunny looked at Taco confused. Giggle approached the toy. Officer McDibbles, at your service. What seems to be the trouble, sir? Playing with kids is so boring, said Taco. Sounds like you're in need of a little detective work, said Giggle. Bo popped open Giggle's badge case and Giggle hopped up to her desk inside. She collected Taco's information and then asked if he remembered ever having fun at the playground. Taco smiled as he began to recall a sunny day. The grass was green, the sky was blue. Then a kid gave you a big hug, said Bunny, picturing in his mind, and you and took you down the swirly side, added Ducky. Ooh, said Taco, no. A girl grabbed me, chewed me a few times and chucked me into the grass. It was amazing. This is a case of mistaken identity, said Giggle. Taco, you are not meant to play with kids. You are a pet toy. That pigeon looks bored, said Bunny. Maybe he needs a taco. Pigeons aren't pets, said Giggle. Now, please remain silent while I evaluate the evidence. The toys watched as Giggle got to work, trying to determine the right place for Taco. We have several suspects here, said Giggle. Dog, cat, parakeet, rabbit, hamster, horse. Any one of these pets could be our target. After a few moments, she turned towards Taco with one final question. Do you have a squeaker? All eyes turned to Taco. I don't know, he replied. We'll need to run a squeaker detector test, said Giggle, nodding towards Woody. Woody threw a lasso around Taco and told him to lean forward with all of his might. At Giggle's command, all the toys pulled the lasso. Squeak! The jubilant sound made Taco laugh. As I suspected, said Giggle, you're a dog toy. The very idea of it made Taco happy. All the toys began to wonder how they would find his perfect dog. Maybe one will come to the playground, suggested Duke. Then Bo spotted a sign hanging on the gate. All dogs and bunnies and duckies are welcome here, read Ducky and Bunny. No, it says no dogs allowed, explained Bo Peep. What kind of place is this? exclaimed a surprised Taco. Bo led everyone to a large map posted outside of the playground. Giggle narrowed her eyes. It's a dangerous mission, but the task force can handle it. Let's go. Where are we going? asked Taco. Dog park, said Giggle. Taco couldn't have been happier. Just as they were about to discuss transportation, a woman approached with her dogs. The toys dropped to the ground. Now, where is that dog park? she muttered, looking at the map. The toys watched, hopefully, as one of the dogs checked out Taco, but he soon trotted away. The woman turned to leave. Bo and Woody quickly helped all the toys into the bottom of the dog stroller. They remained hidden as she unknowingly pushed them to the dog park. When they arrived, the toys crept behind a patch of shrubs and watched the dogs playing inside the park. Taco wanted to squeeze himself through the gate, but Giggle 
held up a hand. It's my duty as a sworn officer of the law to make sure this is done correctly. She began scanning the park and shouted, Bo, ponytail at three o'clock, coming in very close. Bo used her crook to scoop up Giggle. Ready to launch? She then flung Giggle over the gate. The toys watched nervously as Giggle landed on the dog and hid inside her hair ribbon. As she searched for Taco's match, Giggle assessed each dog, categorising them in her mind. Shredder, ball fanatic, too lazy, uninterested, squeaker anxiety, frisbee complex. Then Giggle's eyes landed on a young pup wagging her tail. She knew she had found the one for Taco. How do we, how do we get Taco there? asked Woody. Bo and Giggle knew exactly what to do. They quickly got into position. Giggle waited for the perfect moment. Now! Bo ran a few steps, dropped Taco and kicked him with all her might. He sailed into the air, flipping around and around and soared over the gate and into the park. The dog spotted Taco and began wagging her curly tail. She leapt into the air and caught him with her mouth. Then she chewed on him as she ran. Squeak! Squeak! What do you have there, Gigi? said a young girl. A taco? How cool! Another pet patrol case closed, said Giggle with pride. And another happy toy, added Bo. The toys watched as the girl and her dog continued having a blast, throwing and fetching taco. They knew he was enjoying every chasing, chewing, squeaking second, and that made them feel happy too. And that was a story based on Toy Story 4, Officer McDimples on duty. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and support the channel however you can. And I will see you real soon.